Ugh, how irritating. It's just a bit of Facebook and Instagram today. I tried with YouTube, but... Oh, goodness me. It's not worth all the stress sometimes. Plus, it's not coming out the right way around anyway. Hi, Lula. Lula. Luna. Joining in from in Cumbria. Hi, Luna. Oh, Gary oh, loves, loves the penguins. Well, got some penguins coming today. Who have we got? Millie. Sorry for my very angry start. Getting angry at the at YouTube. Um, hello, Poppy and Isaac and Lincoln. Hello. Hi from Katie. Oh, looking forward to drawing. Hi, Cora. Hi, Poppy. Oh, how exciting. How's everybody doing today? If you are watching live and you've somehow, if you're watching on replay and you've gotten to this point and gotten past me getting angry at YouTube, um, <laughs> you feel free to skip forward to other, uh, to the bit that you want to draw today. I'm going to be drawing a panda, a koala, a penguin, a giraffe, and hoping to fit in some cats as well. And there's been a lot of requests for cats. What have we got here? We've got Lola, we've got Laura, Chris, and Ben, and Alex. Hi! Oh, we've got Iris from Tyne and Weir. Hello. Very excited for the penguins. We've got a few different types of penguins for you today as well for varying levels. So, um, see how we do. Hello. 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 Oh, fantastic. Right. Okay. So, so, so what have we got going on today then? So, my name is Sarah Parkinson. I'm a children's author and illustrator, which means that I write books and do the drawings, if you've not met me before. And if you've not done the writing workshops before, those are on Wednesdays at 10 o'clock in the morning, if you wanted to join along with that. Um, I've written two books, uh, Dragonfly Pie and the Shoe Foxes. This is going to come across backwards, which is a bit funny, but everything else will be the right way around for you from, from here. Um, let's have a look who else have we got. Oh, we've got George and Eleanor and Culture. We've got Cora excited for the cats. Lovely Lexi and Abby very excited in Stockport to be drawing penguins. Oh, we've got lots of penguin fans in. Oh, fantastic. Hello. Hello. Right. So, young ones and old ones. To be honest, I need to do this a little bit at the moment just to get you ready for drawing. So you're drawing your best. I want you all to do some exercises. So if you just twist your wrists around like this, stretch them out. Hi, Ruby. Lovely to see you. Hi, Gail in Cornwall. Oh, lovely. Oh, hello to, hello to Scotland. Hello, Scotland. Lovely. Hi, Juliet. Okay, so we're doing this feeling stretched out. I want you to now wriggle your fingers. Do some exercises. Imagine a lifting weights. Oh, lovely. Lovely. I hope I'm saying this right again. Um, Adawea <laughs> and Amatula. Lovely to see you. Get, keep stretching those arms out. Get all of the, give them a little shake. Oh, get all of the nervous energy out. So you're all ready to draw with me today. Oh, lovely. Hello. Hello, Amelia. Oh, lovely. And Abby and Kent as well. Hello. Oh, lovely to see you. Lovely to see you all. Okay, then. I'm going to crack on with it today. Hope that your stories are all going really well. Love to see some stories maybe later on. See some more stories coming up. See what you've all been doing. But I bet some of you have been waiting for the drawings before you start sending things to me. I think that's very sensible. Right, okay then. Oh, is Dexter watching as well, Gemma? Okay then, so we're going to go over to our drawing board today. If you're on Facebook, you can swipe off the comments so you can see a bit more. I'm afraid you can't do that on um, Instagram, but if you have any trouble, go over onto the Facebook feed. Lovely. So, what's our first portal call? We're going to crack on today. Done all, our count all, all my counting up of all your votes. And one of the top ones was a panda. Let's get a nice simple panda out of the way, shall we? So I'm going to get going to start writing out panda here, so you can all see how to spell it. This one's an easy one, isn't it? But we have got some more difficult spellings going on today, haven't we? Koala's been a bit of a tricky one for some people. Okay, so we're going to start with our panda. So. 
let's start with some nice big these are called ovals aren't they squashed circles like you've just gone on a circle okay so do them around the same size but it's not the end of the world if not because these are the black bits around the panda's eyes and i want you to draw inside those circles two more circles Look like little little cheerios or little weetos don't they and then in those circles can you draw another one you could always do this the other way around if you wanted to and go outwards you could do it this way and do a circle. That probably was the easier way to do it, wasn't it? Well, hey ho. But I think they look good that way. Okay, and what you'll need to do is colour in, you could do this later, but colour in the outer circle, this circle, the first one. I'm just going to colour in one for you for now, and we'll do the other one in a minute. Okay, colour in those circles. Oh, it's going to look a bit funny though, isn't it? I'll quickly do the other one. Let's do some nice colouring. Peek inside those lines. So then you can see his little eye. A little area outside the eye. So you can see where his eyes are. And those big black bits around the outside. They've got markings on his fur. Haha. <laughs> can hear my daughter shouting me because she can hear me in my big loud voice okay so next we're going to draw a little nose are you ready just here that can be a little squash circle maybe bigger kids can add a little bit underneath there because that's like a little like the shapes of what the noses are for the for the nostrils I think we're all there we're all okay following along We've got Stephanie Walsh watching, Amelia and Ben, Abby and, Abby and Kent, I think I've done them, Abby and Kent, haven't I? I've gone back. Right, and then we're going to do our little, cute little panda smile. It all needs to be little, doesn't it? Just under the eyes. It can be a big one if you like. Okay, so we've got our face, the starts of our face coming. So next, we're going to get the outside of the face done. So, best way I'm finding to do that is, if you draw... The ears on round about where you think the ears will be so they're probably too thick but we'll see how we go no it should be all right I like to stick with it where I go join your two, your two ears up you can in to, in, inside of those two ears that you've got at the top Draw another little line on the inside, just like that. And if you want to, you can colour those little ears in black as well. And they've got, maybe you want to do a bit of pink on the inside of the ears. Okay, we're following so far. Then I want you to do all around the bottom. So do you remember what I said about drawing a line, drawing a line in the air first, so you can see where your pen's going to go, or your pencil. Ooh, little squeak there. Got a little panda face coming on now. I'm going to quickly colour in my ears because I think they look funny, don't they, when they're not coloured in. There we go. Hope everyone can see. Okay. This is a good warm up exercise. Right. Um, which one am I going to show you? I'll show you the standing panda because we've got quite a bit to cover today. And I've seen a few of you drawing your pandas like this. Draw a little circle, a little squash wall, an oval really again, underneath your uh, underneath your panda head. And just draw some little splodgy arms. And on the inside of those, this is this is a good way to make it a bit more panda-like. You can draw some little paws as well. So you draw a big circle on the inside of the paw, and then a few little circles. One big circle, and three little circles. 
and he'll colour those in black for me. And then I'm going to draw his legs. Now his legs, you could just draw them as little blobs. Or you can draw them a bit more bear-like, can't you? Like a teddy bear. Start it from where his hips are. So those are part way up. Just draw a couple of those for me. A couple of stumps like you would do on a on when I've had you drawing an elephant or something a bit bigger. Okay, make the line on the inside a bit bigger, a bit longer. And I want you to draw a, a little curve, just starting from inside. Can you see next to the line? I hope you guys can see. Uh, start a line, showing a little boot. And do the same on the other side and do that for me. And then you can colour one arm in black, your legs in black, well both arms in black, and then leave that, leave his belly nice and white. And you've got a nice little standing panda there. How are we doing with our pandas? Other thing you can do as well is colour your little paws in, in red or pink. And that'll do the job nicely. How we like in our pandas. I hope you can all see. Oh, I think you should be able to see all that. Lovely stuff. Okay, we're ready to move on to our next one. So we've moved on. We've had an awful lot of koala requests. So let's do a koala next, shall we? Let's tackle that crazy spelling. Okie dokie. Oh, I had a, oh, I have a good koala fact for you. Did you know that a koala is not a bear? So even though they're called koala bears, a koala is actually related to a kangaroo. And they are from a family called marsupials. which means that they carry their little babies in their bellies. Well, in their uh, in their little pouch, just like a kangaroo. So, can't, so koalas do that too, isn't that interesting? I didn't know that. Koala, koala. So a koala is spelt with a K. There we go. Oh, I got a like in that. Mine has glasses. Oh, mine's adorable. Oh, I love your love the sound of these. The baby is a joey like a kangaroo. Oh, fantastic fact there, Jane. Oh, my hubby failed to tell me that little fact. I was like, give me some, give me some animal facts on my animals I'm drawing. As he was working and focusing on things like that, he's, you know, far more important than pay bills in the house and things, but I needed koala facts. Right, okay, what have we got here? So Let's just start with a big nose, because they have a big nose, don't they, these koalas? So it's just like, like just like one of our panda eyes. And I want you to colour it in. You can maybe put a little shine in it. If you draw a little triangle, a little very long triangle in there, and then colour in all around it. Got lots of tricks for making little shines. On surfaces like that. Let's have a little bit of a shiny nose. And then, so we've got our little nose, and now we're going to draw on some really cute eyes. We're going to make our, our koala really, really cute. So they're going to be around here. If you watch the screen, watch me first. Maybe in this kind of area. Okay. There's one. There's eye number two. And are you going to give him, should we do our little circle trick for some uh, nice shines in the eyes? Draw two little circles, any new people? Two little circles in the eye. And then colour color in around them. He has some really nice, cute eyes. How are we doing? 
Well, we've got the starts of a cute koala here. Let's have a look. Let's have a look. Okay then, so um, I don't really know if you remember from, oh, what was it we drew the other day? It's gone out of my head. <gasps> I had a big nose. It's gone. We're going to draw our mouths just coming out from the nose because the nose sticks out a little bit so you might not see all of the mouth it's going to draw out some little mouth a little bit of a mouth there okay then I'm going to draw the top of the head looks like he's got a little bit of a smirk my, co my koala doesn't he so we're going to draw the top of the head which is just like a little curved line over the top of the eyes just like that. Sometimes these things don't work out very even, do they? So mine's a bit wonky there, but I'm just going to roll with it. So maybe he's, maybe he's sat a certain way or his fluff's up on one side or... Doesn't matter, does it? Practice, isn't it, that gets these things all sorted. So then we're going to start drawing the ears. So we've got one line coming out from the top of the head, just like that. And then we're going to have bottoms of our ears, so don't draw anything else, just the bottoms of the ears. I'll show you another little trick in a second. And then, so we're going to leave those side bits clear. I'm going to draw the bottom of his head. Just like that. There we go. Now the cutest thing I think about koalas is that they have, they're very, very furry, aren't they? They've got lovely furry ears, so I thought we could do our koalas. By adding some little furry bits into his ears. They don't have to all be the same size, they can all be different sizes. Little furry ears. Oh, koala. Right, so we're going to have our ko koala on a tree, I think, aren't we? He's going to be hanging on to something. Won't draw that until the end, but we're going to draw his body now. And they tend to be crunched over, don't they? A big crunched over body like this coming out of the back of the head so my koala is gonna have a body that goes round like this Whoop. <laughs> I can hear my daughter shouting for me outside <laughs> Um, and what are we drawing next? Let's draw an arm. So your arm, if you look at where your nose is, you'll want your pen line to start just underneath his chin at the start of where his, of his nose, where his nose is, does that make any sense? And you're going to be making a little swingy line like this. Ooh. He's going to go right the way out up to where the edge of his ear is. Big swoopy line for his arm. Swoop. And then we're going to have another little swoopy line for the top of his arm, but not quite as swoopy, just a little swoop. And maybe draw a little thumb where he's hanging on, just have it pointing upwards. And then or the rest of his hand. It can just look like a little mitten if you like, can't it? Don't want to make these things too complicated. Let's draw the rest of his body, shall we? So if you draw, if you see where is lower the edge of his eye is, follow the line down, just under his chin, just there. I'm going to draw a line just like that. Okay, hope we're all following along. Next, we're going to draw a leg. So our leg is going to start from about here, which is from about the edge of the face and around the bottom of his arm. Probably should be a bit lower really, but my curve isn't long enough. So I'm going to do it there. I'm going to make a big swoopy line. Watch me first for his leg. And then what happens is so he's going to have a big knee like that. And then they have these huge feet that help them climb their trees so well. So 
what will happen is you've got the top half of the leg there and then the bottom half of the leg is going to go like this and then there's going to be a foot here so you watch me so i'm going to draw one line just there the bottom of the leg then we're going to draw a big long one for the foot it's probably going to look a little bit strange at first Extend that line a little bit. Hey, I'm not perfect. I'll try my best. <laughs> and then we're going to draw some funny claws. So this is the bottom of his foot. I'm not going to lie, not my best drawing, but hey. Doing it live. So we're going to draw some claws. So to be able to do that, I'll show you a bit more of this when we're doing paws with cats later. draw some little lines that'll do for now won't it maybe all the ones want to add in a little bit extra for their claws okay that's mainly means that they're able to climb the trees okay so i'm going to draw a branch for him to hang on to so if you think where he might be hanging on to this big branch Maybe pop an arm on the other side, just like that. What do we think of our koala friend? Oh, mummy and daddy are both drawing. I've, I've heard of some mummies doing some, uh, mummies and daddies doing some uh, drawing as well. Fantastic. Oh, Shelley, if you're after an elephant, I did an elephant on my writing workshop yesterday. So if you do, if you look on my page, and look at yesterday's uh, zoo storybook writing uh, workshop. At the end of that video, there's a, an elephant tutorial on there for you. Okay, I think we're done with koala, aren't we? You can come back to it. Rewind later on. I like his cute little face. Next. We've got penguins. How are we all doing? Really fluffy on his ears, Cora. Oh, I love it. Glad you're enjoying it. Okay, let's do a penguin now. With my penguin, I'm going to draw it a bit higher so that I can get it, try and get as much of it above the comments as possible for you. Okay. Let's draw a penguin. Let's have a look. So I'm going to draw you three different types of penguins. Now Henry, who um, I hear is doing lots and lots and lots of penguins, might want to do this easy penguin so that it doesn't take him, because yeah, I think I think it was 100, I can't remember how many penguins he was drawing, but if you're drawing lots of penguins you might want to keep it simple. Um, so let's show you how to draw a simple one first. This is going to end up taking all this. I'm going to show you the, I'll, I'll do the simple one at the end, sorry. Let's do the harder one first for the older ones. So, and um, we'll start with a nice, mm, let's start with the head. Just like that. Okay. You're going to see this one develop as we go along. I'm going to draw like we did with the panda, just because this is going to be a black head. I want you to draw a big circle and then a little circle inside and then colour in that little circle inside. I look a bit like a fish at the moment. I'm going to draw a beak. It's going to be looking up this penguin. Colour in black, do a thick line for the top of the beak. So a bit of a black top. This is an emperor penguin. I'm drawing for you today. I'm going to draw a body going right down, just coming off the head. 
And while we're at it, let's do some colouring. I'm going to colour in his head just because otherwise I'm going to wipe off the rest of the body with the rest of my hand. And one point to keep, keep a little bit at the back of his neck clear. Because emperor penguins have a little orange bit. I'm not going to be able to colour in all of my penguin though, I'll have to see how I go. Right. Then we're going to draw another line going down here. Okay, so you're going to follow me. in yours on the way along as well. So colour in, just leave that little bit at the back. I have to get some more pens made, haven't I? Just a rough colouring so you can see what's going on. I'm going to draw some wings. Just like that. Colour those in. Colour the little, tr little curvy triangles coming off the body. You see where I've done them. We're looking a bit penguin like here. And at the bottom, I'm going to do a little boop, a little tail. A little triangle at the bottom for a teeny tiny tail, you only have a little one. And then we'll do a rounded bottom of his body and then just draw three sausages for their little feet. Now emperor penguins actually have black feet or grey feet. Fun fact. Oh and also um penguins have if you get your maybe you've got a bit of an orange around you can do an orange beak emperor penguins the dads um sit on the nests and the mums go out and get the fish did you know that it's like the mum's going out to tesco's isn't it what do we think of our penguin so that's our uh, emperor penguin Oh, this is so, this is too hard for me, says Cora. Well, don't you worry, Cora, I've got another one. Oh, I've got some lots of love for the penguins. Oh. Hey, if you'd have gotten your votes in for crocodiles, we might have worked up enough to have gotten them onto the, onto the top, but unfortunately there weren't enough votes. So, sorry, I'll leave the penguin on. We'll draw an easier penguin. Are we ready for our easier penguin? Sure you are. So let's draw... Nice circle with no bottom to it. We're doing all right with that one. Then I want you to draw another circle inside it with no bottom on and colour it in like a very curvy black rainbow, isn't it? <laughs> like a horseshoe. What else do you think it looks like? Okay, next I want you to draw two little eyes. So you're going to put them out with little shines on them. I don't think I can do it this small. I hope you can all see. Next, maybe you've got another colour. I'll do it and I'll do it. I'll do my colour bit first and my black on top so you can see it properly. But if you draw a little diamond, so a diamond is like this. If you draw a little diamond, that'll make a nice beak, won't it? Okay, next we're going to do a body. Very similar to the way we just did the body, isn't it? Again, thick, just do a nice thick line so you've got his belly, or her belly. Don't discriminate with my penguins. 
and just some little wings sticking out from the side as well. How's that penguin? And this penguin I think we can give some little orange feet to. What do we think about that penguin? Is that one a bit better? Oh, me would like a kangaroo. There we go. You have to keep an eye on my page and see when all the uh, requests and things go up and then you can get your votes in. Let's have a look. Oh, loving this in culture. Lovely. Oh, thank you, Charlotte. Lovely to hear that. Hope you find that a bit better, Cora. And now we're going to do a super easy one that might be better for uh, if you're drawing lots and lots and lots of penguins. This one is just, oh gosh, got a bit carried away. Another big sort of squash circle, I guess, with no bottom. A big thick line, like we did with the head. But this time, we're just going to keep it to this big round shape. We're going to draw some lovely eyes. And another little triangle. Little... Now you can either do a triangle or a diamond. Let's do a triangle on this one for your beak. Little triangle. And then some little feet. You could just do your little feet as little blobs if you like. You do them however you like. It's your book. There we go, how are we liking our penguins? Oh, tiger's coming later. I don't worry. Let's have a look. <laughs> Let's have a look. Loving this of course, it's lovely. We love the penguins, oh God. Right, we're ready for the penguins to come off. You can always come back to it later. Lots to fit in. Okay. Now the half is going to kill me if we go past one. Ooh. So we go. Right, number four. We're nearly there. Now this one's good because this one is actually similar to the way we drew a horse. Now we're going to do another popular one. Do you know what it might be? It's a giraffe. Oh God, have I done that right? Oh no, spelling it wrong, spelling it wrong. Uh-oh. In my defence, I am writing this backwards in my world, so bear with me. Giraffe. Oh, got paranoia now, I spelled giraffe wrong. Right, so next with our giraffe. Oh. There was no flamingo. There wasn't enough votes for flamingos. I'm so sorry. Let's have a look. Oh, I don't worry. Don't worry. Don't worry. Oh, I'm glad you're enjoying it, Gemma. Oh, lovely. Nice. Hello, Charlotte. Now, let's see. So this is the the beginning of a giraffe. Is similar to the way that we used that we did this horse the other day and a unicorn. If you're watching, so. A little, a little uh, shape that we're going to go for now, like this. Ready? This is our first shape that you need to get. It's a bit of a funny one, isn't it? Let's have a look. Just realised oh, no, it's too late now. Um, so we've got our first shape. That's the top of his head. Now we're going to draw, let's draw his eye next. Why do I keep calling them hims? It could be a her, couldn't it? So I've done for my eye because they tend to have these lovely long eyelashes giraffes. I'll draw, show, show you a big version of my eye. Draw a circle and colour it in. And then just do a little, ooh, little eyelashes. 
coming off. Okay, I'm going to draw a little nostril. Turns out okay. I'm getting nervous about this one now. Ooh. Then we draw an ear, little leaf, a little ear. Looks like the start of our horse, doesn't it? But giraffes have horns, don't they? So next to each ear on the inside, I want you to draw little horns. Okay. Now, when it comes to doing our giraffe neck, they start out thin and they go a bit thicker. So I'll show you first. It's going to be quite long. Best way I'd probably say is do about four times the size of your, maybe three times the size of your head. As to where it goes to at the back. Okay. Then it's going to go down a little bit longer. So if you imagine there's a big circle, there's a big, big squash circle I'm drawing there. I'm going to follow the back of that circle. And then imagine there's another circle just here where the back of his thigh is. And follow, follow that round. Maybe not quite so much of a dip. Okay, then what should we do next? Let's do the back of his, the back of one, his back leg. So imagine in that circle again, I'm following my own advice here, am I? Following that back leg again, I want you to look, make it gradually go down into a little leg. They're quite thin giraffe legs and they're a lot longer than horse legs, aren't they? Because they're so tall. So let's do them nice and long. All the ones you might want to add a little knob, a little bit for a knee. Okay. Then we're going to do our front leg at the front here. So follow our line down at the front of his neck. And follow that down to the same level, same shape as what your back leg is. Just like that and draw another front leg. Where is it stopping? Round about there. Do a little curved bottom of your leg. Okay, then let's do the bottom of his, his tummy. Whoop. Oh, that was a bad one. Let's start again. And then draw in our back legs as well. I'm sorry to be rushing this slightly. I want to be able to get enough time on cats. There we go. So you can draw all the little shapes that they have on giraffes. They go small at the top, at the top of the neck. And go go down to being very big. Hopefully you like your giraffe. Takes practice though. How are we doing? Oh let's have a look. Oh hello Andy. Let's see. Poppy asks for a unicorn or flamingo next time, pretty please. Oh, well, the unicorn was in the in last week's drawing, so and there's a bit of a, a bit of a unicorn in last week's, and then we'll see about doing something about a giraffe. Um, my giraffe is half of the page. Oh, it's so tall. Oh, Cora, doesn't matter. It takes practice, doesn't it? So I'll show you my pictures again quickly before we get into cats. Pick another, pick another drawing of that I did when I was little. Oh, goodness me. Can we see? This is me drawing. Little, this is me drawing me, I think, in the summer 
the autumn, the winter, and the spring. I never, I, I would never always draw a drew like this. It's taken lots and lots of practice. So do not feel bad if yours doesn't look like mine. And do you know what? Some of the fantastic drawings I have, I have seen coming through that have been so much better than what I did when I was your age. Goodness me. Okay. Let's get on to what a lot of people have been waiting for and I've had to put in at the end because it might take a little bit of time. I don't want for anybody who's not into doing these. Let's start with a cat. Gonna get a hooray! I'm sure there is a Bella off in the distance. Very excited that we've got a cat coming. <gasps> so no pressure. Are we ready? Let's have a look. <laughs> Aww. Thank you, Cora. Right, okay then, so let's start with our cat. <sighs> right then. Need my lunch soon. So I'm going to start with... Oh gosh. Ignore me for a second. We're going to start with the nose rather than the eyes, okay? So just a little nose for your little, for your normal little cat. Now the reason I'm starting with a cat is you just have to make a few little changes to make them big cats. So let's just start with a nice, cute little cat. Now I'm going to put on, so we've got a little nose. Two little eyes just by the by the sides. If you just do what I do, I'm going to make some little cheeks. Easy as that. Now, I don't know how your cat is at home. My cat is a bit grumpy, so I'm not going to make him quite as smiley. Oh my gosh! Now I've made it look like a moustache. <laughs> <clears throat> Next, I'm going to draw some ears now for your ears for your cats. I would say the best thing to do is to draw some little leaves. Where are the places where you expect to see the leaf? Where you expect to see the ears? Can you do that for me? Then on top, we're going to make a little line across here. Now you can either make it a straightforward line or you can add a little boop boop. Helps if you make the noise sometimes. Boop boop. Just to show some hair at the top of the head. Okay, now our normal domesticated cat just has little ears like that. I'm going to pop some little lines so you can see where the inner ear is. And I'm just going to draw a line right the way around, okay? How's that with everybody? Okay. Next, this is the bit where some people kind of get a bit, bit, bit stuck, isn't it? Now, do again what I do, which is where I draw, where I draw in the air and not on the actual paper. A little kind of do some testers of where you want your body to go. So I'm going to do a squashed circle and I'm going to make my body go around like that. So that's the first line I want you to make. The next line is going to be just a little line running off his back, about level with where, it, where the mouth is perhaps. See where it is on yours. Okay, I think we're all following okay. So now I'm going to draw the back of the cat. And again, that's going to be another circle. Everything's all made up of circles and squares and triangles, isn't it? I'm going to draw a big circle back here, okay, but not all the way around. How's that looking? <laughs> Cora's excited about cats. That was what your story was about last week, wasn't it? It's a very, very good story last week from Cora. Okay. 
Now we're going to draw a back leg of this cat. So can you see where that circle is? I want you to draw a line just there. So it's not meeting your bottom line. Need a little gap because that is where your back leg's going. Okay. Now this probably looks a bit strange, doesn't it? This is the front of his chest. Sat proudly, aren't they, cats? So we're going to draw just there a little leg. <laughs> and then I'm going to draw another little leg just here. Just going to follow that round. Just a nice and simple, happy cat. My cat is very grumpy. The tail is the funnest bit, isn't it? Draw a nice tail at the back there. Now, your question might be on Zoo Week. How, I hope we manage okay with this, but how are we going to make this into something a bit bigger? Now, you don't necessarily have to make the whole picture bigger. Let's have a look at, so we could maybe do a, we could call this a, oh gosh, sorry, it's a bit of a lumpy, uh, a cheetah, or a leopard. How can we do that? So, the bigger cats don't have such chubby, lovely cheeks, do they? Maybe, because our cute cat, let's say, uh, maybe, because if you've got pencils, this is a very good time to bring in your pencil, but otherwise, when you're making your shapes, if you do it in a pencil, and follow me along on the first bit, and then rub out these little details, I'm going to leave that rubbed out because I'm going to make... Now, have you got a nice little whoop? Looks very handsome, doesn't he? Now, our nose is a bit bigger on our big cats, isn't it? Maybe they're not quite so smiley. I'm going to keep mine smiling, though. What else might they have? They might have thicker tails. So when you're drawing your tail, draw it thicker. Maybe their back is a bit bigger. Oh. And what else? Paws. We don't have they don't have little teeny tiny paws, do they? Just get the get your rubber out and then do some proper paws. I'll show you how to do those. Now this is really easy. If you draw a little half circle like that on the end of a leg and then draw another underneath it. Watch what I'm doing. Just like that. And then on the third one, make the circle go round a bit further. And you got yourself a paw. Shall I draw that bigger for you? So we've got one circle, two circles, three circles, and follow it round. You've got yourself a paw. How are we liking that? Let's draw another one. One circle, two circle, three circles. Let's draw another big one. One circle, two circle, three circles. Oh. Now, actually, your cheetah and your leopard wouldn't be as thick. They tend to be quite thin and... If you did have that, you draw some spots. I'm not going to leave these on, so I'm going to do lots and lots of spots, but do your spots. You have some jaguars that are like that as well, but the jaguars have big bodies. Okay, so the... And let's keep that bigger body on for our bigger cats. 
Okay. And so we've got <laughs> got a Jaguar. We've got a tiger. Oh, that long way round. No, that's the right way round for me. There we go. So our tiger and our jaguar has the bigger body. It has. And that's pretty much it. They just have bigger bodies, the tiger and the jaguar. But you'll want to draw, obviously, for your tigers, you want to draw some stripes. Just colour that in with some. Some colouring pencils. And then for a lion, our last port of call. For. And let's see, what do you think we need to add for our lion? I mean, that could be a female lion, couldn't it? Then we've got a mane to draw. So let's draw a nice liony mane. So anyone drawing cats, I would say, if you wanted to go through that, go through it with a, do it with a pencil and watch on replay and try again. And just keep trying and it gets better every time. Sometimes you have a bad day. That's okay. Happens to everybody. Me all the time. Let's write out lion for you as well, though I'm sure you probably know how to write lion. There we go. Lovely. How have we gotten along today? Oh, hello. I'm glad that we've still got people watching. I wasn't just by myself. <laughs> How are we all doing? Do we enjoy that? I would love to see some pictures later if you could. Uh, there's a um, best way to get them to me. If you've got videos, if you could email them to me, which is to Sarah Parkinson author, all one word, at gmail.com. Um, I'll keep that on there. I keep seeing that. Um, gmail.com or um, there is a thread on Facebook and Instagram, well, um, on, just on Facebook, if you look at the one on Facebook, um, you can add photos underneath that one, and that's a thread called Show Me Your Pictures and Stories from Zoo Week, so you can post them underneath there, that's been pinned to the top of my page on Facebook. Otherwise, if you're Instagram, you, if you're Instagram user, you can send it to me by email or by messenger, but some of the settings can be funny on there, so uh, try your best on that. Um, or you can set it up as, um, if, if you really want to, if you post it to my wall, you can post me some pictures and things just straight to my uh, Facebook wall. And I'll make sure I check them this, this time because I managed to miss a couple last week, which made me very sad. Oh, hi, Sarah. How are we all doing? Oh, thank you, Amelia. Thanks. My cat looks even cuter than normal. Oh, lovely. Oh, not a problem, Jane. Not a problem, Jacqueline. Oh, Henry loves the penguins and the giraffe. Oh, loved it in St. Albans. Thank you, Hannah. Oh, having a fab time. Love the koala and the penguins the best. Thank you, love, Luna. Thank you very much. Oh, I'm so glad you enjoyed it and that you're enjoying these sessions. I will keep doing them for as long as I as I possibly can. Oh, um, yeah, so every week, so I'll be starting, so I'll be doing a new week, a new theme next week. I might do something a little bit crazy. Let's just see, see some idea what ideas that we can do. Maybe so. Maybe you can send me some ideas what I can do for another theme. I can see if I can work it up in the, in the coming weeks. Cause uh, it's nice to have something to look forward to, isn't it? Make a new story. Um, and I'd love to see some pictures, videos, anything that you can send. Don't have to show the pictures of your kids. Um, otherwise, I will see you next Wednesday at ten o'clock on Friday. This Friday, I will put up a gallery of my f of um, the the ones that have really stuck out for me. Um, might not necessarily be the same as last week. Um, I want to try and get them up. I want to, I want to give you guys enough, to, as much time as possible to be able to get them to me. So if you can just get them to me by Friday lunchtime and then I can get them up in Friday afternoon, it might not be as jazzed up as it was last week because it just takes time and it causes me so much stress because it looks like I'm picking favourites and I just love them all. They look wonderful. 
Uh, let's have a look. Uh, Grandma's drawings are improving. Oh, thank you, Linda. Oh, Linda's one of my top fans. Um, got Poppy and Isaac. We'll send you theirs later. Lovely. Oh, thank you, Hannah. Thank you so much. Right, I think we're better get going now, aren't we? Um, see you. Oh, well, I'll, I'll, I might even do a live on Friday. On, on t Friday tomorrow. I don't know. I'll see how I go. If it, it might turn up randomly. Um, but thank you so much and um, it just keeps me going um, just seeing all these lovely pictures and drawings and how much your kids are enjoying it and it's just lovely so thank you so so much for tuning in it's been lovely